For this problem, we have a majority function has an output value of one if there are more ones than zeros in our inputs, otherwise our output is zero. We are going to design x, y, and z. So in our Boolean functions, we're also gonna to have to make a k-map for this. So we're gonna make a truth table and a k-map. So we know a truth table is going to be, we have an x, we have a y, and then we have a z. And then for our k-map, when we set this up, well, we are going to have an x, break this off, and then we have our y, and then we have our z. Now, from here, we are going to make our k-map. We just have one x here, so we're going to have a zero and a one, and we can write this as x naught x. And then in here, we are going to have a zero, zero. We need to write out all the possible combinations. And so when we write this, it's going to look kind of like a rectangle. So we're going to have these boxes inside of here that we're going to need to fill up, and we're going to fill them up according to our truth table. So looking at this truth table, we have our x, y, and z. Well, we can write this out using these and these. I like to write out the k-map first. That way it helps me kind of really just easily fill in the truth table. So for our x, y, and z, we're going to have 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. And we're going to do this twice because um, we have just one x. So in our x, we're just going to have 0, 0, 0, 0 and then one, 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 and then we can see that we filled out the entire thing. Now, after this, we are going to have our output. I'm just gonna call this F1. And so our output, if we look at the instructions, the output value of one if there are more ones than zero in the inputs. So we're gonna look at the inputs, and if we have at least two ones, we're gonna have a one output. So obviously, this first one is going to be a zero, this next one's a zero, zero. We have two ones in this next row, so we're gonna have a one here. We're going to have zero here, one here, one here, and one here. Now, if we look at the indexes, when we write out indexes, it'll be zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then when we look in the k-map, we're gonna have zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's reading from left to right. Now we can put in our values. Let's only focus on the ones. We don't really need to put in the zeros. Um, we can, but it's not necessary since we want to write a Boolean equation after our k-map and the truth table. So looking at index three, we have a one here. Index five, six, and seven, we have ones here. And so now we can build our equation. Well, looking at this, um, we need to combine some ones. We can only combine to the power of two. So this means we can only combine two, two squared, two fourth, two cubed. And this is like two, four, and then I think I said this should be cubed and this should be fourth. So we would have like two, we would have four, we would have eight, we would have 16, basically two to the n power. And we want to combine things that are similar. So just as we did right here, we can do at the top to make it easier to see. Um, we can write this out here as y naught. And then this here is y. So our bottom we're going to write out as z naught z. And then we're going to have a z naught z. Before we go further though, I realized I made a terrible mistake. I wrote this one right here that I just erased in the wrong index. I wrote it in the second index when it should actually be in the third because we have it in this third right here. What was I thinking? So now we can look at combining some things. So what I want to do is I want to combine this value and this value together. And the reason that I'm combining these two values and not these two is because these are totally opposite from each other and we don't want to do that. So we're going to take this one and we're going to take this one. We're going to look at them. So we have uh, one here. We have one here and they're both in the X row. So we're going to write out X here. They're both in the Z column. So we're going to write out a Z here. And then that's it for that one. 
we're going to now look at this Y right here. Now this Y, we know we can't hook it up with this one because we've stated previously that we can't. So what we're going to need to do is hook it up with this one. And so we are going to have a OR, and then we have a X again, because it's in the X row, and it's in the Y column. So we have X, Y here. And now we're going to have to look at these two. So they're in different rows. We can't look at the rows, but we can look at the column. They're in the Y, Z column. And so this is going to be the Boolean equation here. Um, and then here is our K map. It's written in green. And lastly, we have our truth table. So that's how you would go about doing this problem.